Hi everyone, Jody Underhill here with day two of the 30 days to 30K challenge. And today I'm going back to Spartanburg and I'm going to a BNI meeting. Now this is a smaller BNI meeting. There's only about 18 members and there actually is someone in there whose business is listed as information technology. Now I don't know if they'll see me as competition or if they will say that they have another space there. Now the point is I'm not going to join this group. I'm going to to meet with them, to sit through their meeting and also get to know who's in there that may be someone who would be a center of influence or someone that I'd like to build a strategic alliance with. So I'm going I'm to head up there now and I'll let you know how the meeting goes whenever I get back. Hi everyone, it's Jody here. I'm walking into um, the BNI meeting. I'm in Spartanburg, downtown Spartanburg. I'm here at a place called uh, Cribs Kitchen. So I'm going to go in here and uh, see what this thing is all about. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so now I'm back from the BNI meeting. How did it go? Well, first of all, I want to tell you a couple of things about whenever you first walk into the BNI meeting. They're going to have someone, they're going to have a reception area there. They're going to have someone there that's responsible for greeting the new members, and that's, you know, someone that's on the membership council. And this one that I went to had about 20 members, so it was a little smaller, a little more informal. And whenever I got there, there was only two people there. It was actually the BNI chapter president and the, the membership person. And they were excited that I was there because they're always looking for new members. Even though whenever I told them what I did, they said, well, you know, we already have someone that does that, but please stay. We, we love having you as a visitor. Maybe there's other people that you may be able to recommend to our group. They're always open for that. So when I explained, you know, explained what I did, they you know, said, please stay here. They took the time and introduced me to every person as they walked in the door. That's because I got there about 10 minutes early. You don't want to walk in at exactly the time that it starts. You want to get there a couple minutes early and say, hey, you know, I was looking online. I saw you had a meeting here. So I decided to stop by and check it out. Hope that's okay. And they'll always say, well, sure, absolutely welcome. We welcome all visitors. Matter of fact, the, the young lady's name, who was the president, her name was Brandy. She was excited because they were supposed to have guests. So she got to count me as a guest. So, was, um, so she was like, thank you, you'll be my guest. And she was able to add that because I kind of keep points and keep score. And then you know, whenever I, we sat down, they went around and you know, they, they talk about what BNI is all about. And then they went through and everyone does a 60 second commercial. Now, as a guest, you don't go in, whenever they're going around the room, you don't get to go at that time. What they do is they wait till the end and then they have as a guest, they have you stand up as a guest and explain what it is that you do. I was not the only guest there. They had another person who uh, was with a uh, home security company and another lady who was actually with an elder care facility who were both guests that had been invited by members you know, because they're always looking to increase their membership. So they went around and did that and they were, and whenever I stood up and talked about what I did, I'm sure some of you are like, well, what do you say at a BNI meeting? Here's exactly what I said. Hi, my name is Jody Underhill and I specialize in online marketing. And one of the things that most people know is all, every business out there today has a website. But the thing is, that's only one place to be found online. And if you have a website, if it's not on the first page of the search engines, it's kind of like having a neon sign in the basement. Or better yet, it may be on the first page, but be a neon sign pointing to an empty lot. What we do is specialize in helping local businesses not only have a first page listing, but have overwhelming presence online, utilizing not only search engine rankings, but also utilizing videos and articles and social media and even mobile marketing, because we all know that everyone has the internet in their pocket these days. That's what I do. So if your business needs more of an online presence, I'm Jody Underhill, and I sat down. That's really what I said. Amazing thing is, after I said that, I mentioned a couple people. I probably almost half the people in the group had already asked me for a business card before I stood up and talked, just during networking and asking them about their business. And here's the hint. Whenever I went there, I asked people four questions, those same four that I always ask. What do you do? How long have you been doing that? What do you like best about it? And how do I know if someone I'm speaking to is a good referral for you? It doesn't matter what setting I'm in, I always use the same four questions. And every, almost every time, actually every time, I had the chance to do that. I only got to talk with about 10 of them because it, you know, it takes a little bit of time to do that and then we started the meeting. But every person that I spoke to wanted, gave me their business card and asked for mine in return. So, and as I told you, as I mentioned before, uh, when you go to a BNI meeting, during the meeting, the really cool thing is, is they pass out a book that has everyone's business card in the group. And so now I have all of these people who I not only have their business cards, but I've also met them in person and talked to them and shook their hand. And now, you know what I'm going to do from this BNI meeting? Now, the, the other cool thing is at the end of the BNI meeting, the, the membership person came up and said, wow, you, that was really great the way you explained what you do. I've never really had anybody kind of 
explain it like that. And I know the internet's really important, and you know, we're actually now come, kind of coming of age here in this town. So the person that does this in our group, he hasn't been here in like three weeks, and we're actually meeting today to decide of whether or not he's going to be able to stay in the group. And I have a feeling that, you know, that, that the position is going to be open. If you'd like to come back and visit again next week, we'd love to have you. So I've already been invited to come back again. And they also shared with me and let me know that there's another group that meets on Thursdays at 1130, which I'm going to go to next week because this week I'm flying out to L.A. So I'm going, they, you know, they tell you and they will, the people at BNI, they go by the, the motto of givers gain. And they want to you know, give, you know, give as much information as they can to help business owners because they feel that the more they help people, the more they're elevating themselves and helping themselves. It's kind of like the, if you're pushing someone uphill, you can't help but get closer to the top yourself. So anyway, back to these business cards. I'm not going to send these people an email. You know what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to take these business cards and one at a time, I'm going to send them a thank you note. Plain and simple thank you note. In, a, in an envelope, and that thank you note says this, and I wrote this so you can see exactly what it is. It's, hi Brandy, it was nice meeting you at the Palmetto Connection B&I meeting. If I can ever refer business your way, I certainly will. Jody. Now, I don't put a business card in there because she already has my business card. I don't put my phone number on there. She has my phone number on my business card. I don't say, and if you ever need a thingamajiggy or a hoozy watsy, be sure to give me a call because she knows that that's what I do because I made an impression. She has my card. Now I'm going to make a better, bigger impression whenever I send her this handwritten thank you. And it's not just Brandy. I'm going to send one to all the people that are there. Now you want to take note of the people who are there and who are not there. Like for instance, this guy, he's the, um, the, the upstate marketing lab guy. His name is Jay. He wasn't there. He doesn't get one. Dee Dee was there. Dee Dee's with uh, Vista Care Hospice and she actually did her 10 minute presentation. So on her note, I'll probably go into a little more detail and say, Dee Dee, it was so nice meeting you at the Palmetto Connection BNI group. I enjoyed your presentation on how hospice can help those in need, those are the people that are, who are, have a terminal illness. Um, as, a, as a user of hospice before, because when my father passed away, we had hospice come in. I was like, I appreciate everything you do. If I can ever refer business your way, I will certainly will. It's a sad thing if you're referring business, but still it's a need to be served. Um, this guy, Larry Morris. Oil and Tire Company. Guess where I'll probably stop by and get my oil changed and say hello, right? And I'll be sending him a thank you note. Provest Wealth Advisors. This guy is Noel. He's probably spoke to me more than anyone because he was he's one of the, he's the vice president of the, of the group and he made me feel welcome. And we go through here. Um, Katie Stern with the New Heights Salon. Matthew Lasseter with the uh, with property management. And you can tell people that are sort of good with it. You know, they got QR codes on their business cards. That doesn't mean that, oh, they've got a QR code that's over. No, that means they see the value in utilizing technology and marketing. And so we have a bank, we have Mary Kay, we have a real estate agent, uh, we have Fire and Mold, Creative, um, let's see, Creative Printing, Nationwide Insurance, Precision Services, um, Swain, uh, Swain and Brown, the business attorney. I actually came over and spoke to me afterwards. He said he'd probably like to know more about what I do. And also Holman's Homestead, Mill Spring Floors, and Sign Force, and last, uh, Intercom Upstate. It's um, on air, online, on site marketing solutions. And this person wasn't there either. And actually, what they do is if it's like, oh, it's online. No, they're they, they're radio station. So, well, it seems like competition. It's not. And what interesting thing happened. The, the the nationwide insurance guy said, well, it seems like there's a lot of people doing that. I'm like, really? How many people have you talked to? It's like, well, I, in the last year, I, I know like three people that are doing that. It seems to be a tough business. I'm like, that's not what I find. I said, actually, it's a really great business because, you know, the fact that you've seen two or three people doing that shows that there's a need for it. And the fact is that there is really no competition. We call those partners in awareness. And he's like, you know, that's interesting. I, I, let me get your card. I think I definitely want to sit down and talk to you. Now, I told him, I said, well, nationwide, it may not be the right fit because of all their compliance issues, but I'd still have a conversation with him if he would like to. And during the meeting, you know, so I do that, I'm going to send those thank you notes, and I'm going to send those out without expectation that they're going to send something back. But the chances are a lot of them will probably respond. If I went and checked my email because I handed out so many business cards, there's probably a number of them who have emailed me. 
Like I said, I'm not going to email them. I'm going to send them a handwritten thank you. And while you're there, they'll come over and they'll give you a visitor's packet. And they'll also explain what it takes to be a member. They want you to fill this out. They want you to, to give them a, a credit card for $100 and then also $370, $100 for the application and $375 as your membership dues for the first quarter. Don't let that intimidate you. Just say thank you very much and take the visitor's packet and let them know that you're going to be visiting other BNI groups to determine which one is going to be the right fit for you. And if you determine they will, you be sure to get back with them and you'll definitely visit them again. Because one of the th last things that happened before I left, Dee Dee, the, the lady with hospice, who is also one of the membership people, said, Jody, please come back. You know, you can come back and visit us two times a year, so do please come back. And it would be great if you could come back in the, within the next two weeks because they want you to get value out of going to see them. So that's the BNI meeting. Now, I went back whenever I got through the BNI meeting, I went by the chamber because I wanted to ask them about which, what would the meeting room look like. And it's always good to pop back into the chamber so that you just get to know your face. And there was a different person working at the front desk and it made a world of difference. This person was like so very helpful. Her name was, her name was Wendy. The thing when if you go into the chamber, the person at the front desk if that's normally there, they run the show. They are the people that know everything. Now they're not going to sit down with you and talk about the benefits of the chamber. That's going to be someone in the membership area. But that person at the front desk, they're the ones that are in charge of where those business cards go. They're the ones in charge of the brochures. They're the ones when the people call, they answer the phone when they're looking for a recommendation. They're the ones who make a recommendation. Now, do you think it's a good idea for me to get to know Wendy? Think it'd be a good idea for me to, whenever I go there tomorrow, because there's a seminar tomorrow, I think it's Taming the Social Media Monster or something, but it's being put on by Dale Carnegie. Do you think it'll be worth my time to stop by and ask her another question? And what I did is I, when I went in, I said, you know, I haven't joined yet, but when I was talking with Liz, she said that I could possibly use your conference room. And she told me I'd need to check with you, so is it available? And she said, yeah, absolutely. I told her the time I wanted it, it's available. And here I went over and said, can you mind if I go look at it? And I walked over, and here's what it looks like. Hi, everybody. It's Jody. I just got through with the BNI meeting, and on the way out of town, I decided to swing back by the chamber and talk to them about utilizing their boardroom and if I'd be able to do that. And chance, and as it turns out, I am. So right now I'm taking a look at the boardroom. As you can see, the setup here, we have uh, two rows of tables, and we have a podium up there. We have a, a large TV, actually two large TVs for the presentation to be shown on. So it looks like this is going to work out very well. So there you go. You don't know unless you ask. So there you have it. B and I stopped back by the chamber, checked out the meeting room. Also, I forgot to mention this. I mentioned to the people at the BNI because I kind of took a chance that I was going to have the room available, that I was going to be doing an overview on local marketing on October 16th, and I was going to be doing it because I know their meeting starts at 11.30. I was going to do it from 9.30 to around 11 to give them a chance to network afterwards and still make it over. It's like six blocks from the Chamber of Commerce over to the restaurant that they meet at so they could still make their BNI meeting. And they were like, wow, that's really cool because we missed so much because of this meeting. So I'm going to structure it around making sure that those people that I invited are going to be able to be there. And everyone I meet from this point forward, I'll be handing them something that says, you know, it says, I'm having a, an overview, please come, and I'll be sending them to a registration page. Now, I picked up the phone books, right? Picked those up yesterday. And here's what I'm going to do. This is exactly what I'm going to send. This is um, uh, Campbell and Shable, and I'm going to be sending them a note that says, Saw your ad in the yellow pages. I have some ideas how you may be able to improve on this. Give me a call and my name. And I'm going to be having those start going out. Since I'm going to be out of town uh, Thursday through Monday, I'm going, to have them, I'm going to have them ready to go and have them mailed out on Friday. So but by the time I get back, I'll start having calls coming in during the week and next week. So there you go. That's it for today. Go, on, go online. Look for BNI.com. The, the other thing is you may have to do a Google search for BNI for your city or for your state, for instance, because I went just on BNI.com and I put in Spartanburg. It brought up a, a chapter in Columbia and another one in Charleston. Columbia is like an hour and a half away and Charleston is like three hours away, not where I wanted to go. But I went back and went on Google and did Spartanburg BNI chapter and it pulled up the website, which is like, it's South Carolina and Georgia dash, it's SCGA dash BNI or GASC, I don't remember which one it is, dash BNI.com. So there are those, other, and every chapter has their own website as well. And they give you a list of all the people who are in the chapter so that you can look and see what kind of people are in the chapter before you actually go. So that's it. That's BNI. I hope you've uh, enjoy, enjoying the, the 30 days to 30K challenge. Someone, someone else called it a race, 
Um, it is a race, it's a challenge to see if I can get there. So that's it. Tomorrow I'm going to the Chamber of Commerce. They're having, like I said, the Taming the Social Media Monster. Now I ran into a conflict because there's another there's a council meeting that I wanted to attend in another area, but it starts at 7.30. This thing starts at 8.30. I don't think I'm really going to be able to do both well. So the thing is, is don't do two half-assed do one really well. So I'm going to go to the one that's taming the social media monster because most of those people, guess what they're interested in? Social media. Guess what else they don't know they should be interested in? Videos and articles and search engine optimization and mobile marketing. Guess what I can talk to them about after the meeting? Exactly. So that's tomorrow. I'll let you know how that goes. I'll try to get some, some shots of the, um, of the inside. And that's it for now. See you tomorrow.